Hello Virgo, this is your reading for the 17th through the 18th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I've pulled two um, oracle cards here for you guys to read at the end. One is the Romance Angels, and the other one is the Angel Prayer card, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on for my Virgos today. Let's see the energy that's around you guys. All right, I was challenging you guys right there. Why this is happening, the recent past, best possible outcome is coming in. How you're feeling about this influence here, your hopes, okay, your fears. And the overall. All right, guys, what's going on? The Emperor. I think you guys are standing up for what you believe. Um, I think that maybe somebody's trying to sway you to do some things, and um, you're just like, no, not doing that. Mm mm. Mm mm. And I think your challenge here is to, um, you know, stand your ground here. Fight for what you believe. Do not let anyone take advantage of you, you know. You know, hold on to your confidence, I'm feeling, okay? So what the reason why this is happening is because I feel like either there's a relationship that you guys are currently in that has been um, a long-term relationship, one where you guys, um, you know, once felt fulfilled or you're just trying to keep that, that happiness, your happiness, okay? Um, you're trying to hold on to, I feel like, your, your pride, your self-esteem, you know, that sort of thing. And you're fighting for it is what I'm getting here. Or you're, there's a need to fight for it. Do not let anybody, um, you know, step over your boundaries that you have set for yourself. What's been going on in the recent past is enlightenment, I feel. You guys definitely gaining your confidence here, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm thinking that... You know, just recently you guys have become aware of certain things about people um, and certain things about yourself, okay? Now, the best possible outcome here is that you will continue to grow. You will continue to be aware. You will continue to build your confidence and stand in your power here, okay? Lots of things that I feel like you guys are learning, planning. Um, you know, interested in, I feel. Getting to know yourself is what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Now, how you're feeling about this is that I'm thinking that there's somebody that you feel like there's been some conflict with. I think there's been some arguments with, some disagreements with. Um, and, and I'm getting that there's somebody that you don't want to leave. You want to be there for this person. But at the same time, you know, you will not give up your happiness here. Okay, you will not give up yourself. You will not, you know, let your guard down and just let somebody trample all over you just so you can be there for them, you know. But I'm getting that you guys definitely do not want to leave somebody hanging or struggling. Okay, what's coming in for you guys is the Empress. All right, um, the Initiator, growth, abundance. Starting over, becoming a new person. Um, I'm getting definitely that, you know, you guys are a couple. Whoever this is, whoever this is, is coming in um, also as an empress. I'm getting that this person definitely wants to um, get along with you. They definitely want to grow with you. They want this Ten of Cups with you and the sun energy of being happy, of being aware of who they are and doing the things that are necessary um, to grow this relationship, okay? The influence here is temperance, needing to gain balance and harmony in your life, in this connection, okay? Within yourself, Balancing out your emotions with your actions, okay? Not giving too much. Allowing somebody else to give to you, all right? Your hopes is that you can do just that. That maybe you guys can, um, you know, save some money, not spend so much, but definitely not give too much of yourself. And I'm thinking that you want to hold back. 
there, there's something that you're trying to hold back your emotions your time your energy not giving too much but be careful that you you hold back too much okay but this is what your hopes are is that you can like you know refrain from doing certain things here okay and stand your ground you want to be stable in your emotions in your actions and you know just really not giving too much of yourself your fear is not being able to stand your ground not being able to speak your peace your truth okay not being the emperor not being confident not not you know letting anyone cross cross your boundaries okay also it's taking abuse from someone else your fear is that you know that somebody else will step over your boundaries say things to you that you don't appreciate or don't that you don't you know vibe with somebody that's angry and and really not in control of themselves you don't want to be bothered with that is what i'm getting here and then the overall is the star is you guys following your path um healing you know, healing issues that you have held on to for so long, um, whether you have been one that, you know, just gives so much of yourself just to try to make someone else happy. I think you're dealing with this. I think you're definitely dealing with this here. Okay. You're finding the balance and harmony within yourself and you're setting boundaries for yourself. And in doing so, I'm definitely getting that you guys are following your path, okay? I'm getting also that this person is probably the person that you are meant to be with here, okay? This is looking good for you guys today because the other readings have been a little bit off, but I'm getting, I'm getting good things from this right here. As long as you stand in your power and you fight to keep your power, okay, your self-confidence, establish your boundaries and not let anyone infiltrate those boundaries okay so we have aquarius here capricorn sagittarius taurus um maybe aries is here libra i'm feeling um leo and uh, pisces so let's see what is going on with your oracle cards here let's pull out the romance angels first and we have worth waiting for them Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. Um, if you've been giving way too much of yourself, you holding back, you standing strong, you not budging and saying, no, I'm not going to put up with this. This is bringing about a change in someone I'm, I'm feeling here. Okay, growth and abundance in your love life. Okay, you guys hold the key. Is what I'm getting here. And then take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. Definitely divine timing, guidance is at play here. Okay. Healing. Following your path, guys. I love it. All right, my guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.